Hi, Warriors. So we are trying out our first vlog. And the topic that a lot of you have been interested in is how you overcome or prevent even experiencing burnout in the first place. So this topic is really important to me because um, I'm constantly on the go in my new position. So uh, a lot of times I have to work out of the city, probably a couple of times a month. And that means that I need to continually take care of my body. And just because I'm in another city doesn't mean that I can change my habits. And whatever you're dealing with, whether it's you know, children or other commitments, or you have multiple jobs, there's always things that we can do to prevent experiencing a burnout in the first place. Um, so I'm going to give eight tips that I feel are absolutely essential to me for preventing a burnout in any situation. Um, the first is so important and a lot of people tend to overlook it and think that they aren't part of the statistic and it's what you would think it is. It's resting. So um, our human bodies as adults need seven to nine hours of sleep in order to function. That's just what it is. It's not that you can function. It's when you are at your best, you're getting between seven to nine hours of sleep. So, um, for me, that's absolutely essential. I'm an early morning riser and I do that so I can take time for my wellness in the morning. So I usually wake at five o'clock and if I don't get that seven and a half hours of sleep for me, then I simply just know that I cannot wake up. I need to put that first, my rest first, and listen to my body. And if I feel a burnout coming on, then I might need to even adjust and get more hours of sleep because it's absolutely important. Um, so if you're wondering what exactly a burnout is, it's when you're exper experiencing a complete lack of energy. So it's not only exhaustion, it's not having motivation or being able to do um, essentially anything. So many things um, you just really are struggling with doing. You have no desire to do them. So that's when you're experiencing a full burnout mode. And um, I've definitely been in a place where I'm very exhausted. I, kn I know I'm on the verge. So I do my best to take the um, eight steps that I'm talking to you guys about today. The second for me, of course, and I think for everyone is to take time for your wellness and your wellness and focusing on what is good and what's increasing your ser your dopamine levels and um, helping you to kind of see the light and see what's amazing about the world around us and the life that you have is being able to do things like moving your body. So um, whether that's running or a low intensity workout at your house, or maybe it's just going for a walk, all of those pieces are helping you. Um, finding a great meditation that you love is really important too. So I always suggest the Insight Timer app because it's absolutely free to use. And there's different, um, there's different ones focused on um, various topics. So if you actually probably look up burnout or um, depression or whatever, you will find, definitely find topics on that. Um, of course, another important thing is focusing on things like journaling and looking at some journaling prompts or reading. Anything like that encompasses your wellness aspect. Um, another big one for me is to drink lots of water. So I always feel much more energetic when I'm drinking um, lots of water. And what that looks like is you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, for example, because that's easy math, you would drink 50 ounces of water in a day. And that really helps our body flush everything out, um, get rid of any toxins and um, it just gives you the energy that you you need for the rest of your day. It's so important, you guys. Um, another one that I find important is don't be afraid to rest. I know there's so many coaches and people who are like, "Oh, well, I don't, I don't watch TV," and fantastic for them. But 
if your body is asking you that you need to take a break and that doesn't look like wellness um, and that doesn't look like falling asleep, maybe you need time to turn off your brain. And maybe that looks like watching your favorite TV show or sitting in a bubble bath or doing something that you just love and you can just indulge and enjoy the moment. So never be afraid to do that either. I think that's super important. And, um, and it's something that we don't talk about enough being okay. I wouldn't consider it wellness, but I do think it's Um, it's a type of relaxation that's really good for our our minds and our bodies. Um, Another thing that is absolutely huge, I think, in overcoming burnout is really taking that time to find your why. And again, this can be a part of journaling, but if you don't have any why, um, including why you're doing the things that you're doing and what is making you passionate about getting up each day and why you're fighting for it, you're not going to be able to. So there's a lot of different prompts that you can do to get into this state of understanding your own why, which is a completely different topic, but it's something that you can journal on and think about and talk with your partner. And I think it's it's pretty critical if you're um, experiencing a burnout mode and questioning why you're doing anything in the first place. Um, Another one that is really important, I think, is taking the time to put away your phone. So maybe it's for a period at night, um, a period in the morning, or when you're doing your wellness, you need to put your phone away and um, experience the world around you. And um, a couple of things I do for that is going putting it on the kitchen counter. Uh, When I go to sleep, you might want to put it completely away from you in the bedroom. When I read, I do not have it near me. So I find if it's out of sight, then it's out of mind, which is very important for me. The other thing is um, checking if you have too much on the go. So is there anything that you can give... um, And is there anything that's not helping you accomplish the goals that you need to? So what I mean by that is if you're looking at your lists of things that you have to do, is everything on there moving in the direction of the goals that you need to achieve? And if it's not, then consider taking it off your list completely. We don't need to overwork ourselves for the sake of doing it. Um, We want to do the stuff that matters that we're passionate about that is going to give us the results that we're looking for and help us to become that best version of ourselves. So always make sure that everything that is taking up your time, which is so important, is meaningful. And that's okay if you have to say no to certain situations and circumstances, because if it's causing you a burnout situation or to be exhausted, then in the end, it's not helping at all. Um, And my very last thing, this is something that's very important to me, is um, can you do anything that gives you more time in your day? So for me, um, for example, on Sundays, I have a really busy time getting everything organized for the week ahead. I want to be on the ball. So I use Instacart as an example. Um, in order to get groceries delivered to my house, I know exactly what I need for the week. And I can simply use that and save a couple hours instead of going grocery shopping. Um, so anything that I commit to spending money on is in at the end of the day, saving me time. And I really believe in investing in that. So um, even if I'm cutting certain things, it's because that I've chose to, to put my money into stuff that'll save me time in the end. So um, things like having a house cleaner once a month, that's very important to me because it saves me hours of energy that I could be doing something else. Um, Another thing is looking at programs, um, companies in your city like 
Ours is Simply Supper in Edmonton, and that's essentially a food prep company. So all of your items are sliced, but it's not a frozen meal. Um, but you have all the ingredients together, and it'll take you about half an hour to put everything together and cook it. And it's just an easily prepared meal. So that's something that I really enjoy um, a lot of days of the week because I am busy downtown. I have to come home um, or nights where I just... I am getting home really late and I need to nourish myself. Um, and, you know, make sure that you're, if you're in a relationship, that you're talking to your partner about these things and what are some of the pieces that um, they can give as well in order to make sure you're balancing that time. So I think those are some of my favorite pieces. Um in terms of the give and take for Sheldon and I, we plan out our weeks in advance so we know the days that each other can cook. We know the days that one of us is going to be gone so the other is going to have to take care of the dog and vice versa. Um, I think it's really important to communicate that overall. So those are my absolute favorite tips in ensuring that you stay out of a state of burnout they might seem simple, but if you're doing them all and you're doing them well, you are going to really prevent yourself from experiencing that state of mind. And I do the exact same thing when I'm traveling. I ensure that I have things like protein bars. I'm drinking tons of water. I'm going to sleep at the same time. It's not a holiday. Um, I need to come back and still be in my best health. So um, again, that's another topic of discussion as well is what you're doing when you are working and traveling at the same time. But uh, I wanted to give you my favorite tips for overcoming or preventing a burnout state. And I hope you enjoyed our very first vlog. I'll, we'll talk to you later, Warriors.